right now, Sleaze, presented by McDonald's. The best part about working at McDonald's is the people. You know, Taylor knows how to take care of her team, Taylor Swift. According to the U.S. Sun, who spoke with a catering consultant who worked for her during her Lisbon and Madrid shows, says... She spares no expense when it comes to feeding the crew. For the Lisbon dates, she reportedly ordered lots of Portuguese barbecue consisting of 120 chickens, a charcuterie ham. Um, The total tip scales at $5,500 for her 350-member team. That's a lot of team. Um, Also, in Madrid, I think she spent like over $200,000. Meanwhile, let's go to Spain where she paid $11,000. Five hundred dollars for some famous ham, two hundred kilos of paella, which I love. Twenty thousand dollars. More food brought to the table included twenty five hundred dollars worth of Spanish cheese, fourteen hundred dollar tapas for seven thousand, and then fruit pies and treats totaling another ten grand. The total, total, total three hundred thousand. Can you imagine being her business manager? And I mean, just the amount of money that not only that she has. But that she spends. That would be fascinating. I would watch just a documentary on that. Yeah. With the business manager? Are you kidding? So much money. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, The Beatles continue to break records long after their musical reign around the world. A long lost John Lennon guitar. I want to see if you can guess how much it sold for. It was at the Times Square Hard Rock Cafe. It wasn't even at like Sotheby's. They had fans, industry aficionados there. To witness this event, this was from 1964, his uh, help Hootenanny acoustic guitar, also used by George Harrison, during the recording of the 1965 Beatles album Rubber Soul. I guess it had been found after 50 years. Don't you love those stories when something's found in someone's attic? How much do you think it went for? And this was just out of Hard Rock? Yeah, it was at the Hard Rock. I was kind of shocked because I thought you normally something this big or, you know, a big collectible like this would be at like a Sotheby's. Three million. Yeah, you're close. 2.85 million. Really? Yeah. Damn. Oops. Jennifer Lopez's prospects for a 90 million Las Vegas residency deal are dimming <laughs> as poor sales for her new album, This Is Me Now, and of course the cancellation of her tour. Initially, they had offered a million dollars per show, which isn't unusual, Barnes, for a big star in Vegas. Uh, now they may see those numbers dwindle to 600000 a show. That's because she showed a, her hand. A little buyer's remorse there? That's because she showed her hand. I mean, she showed that she's failing by pulling. Now she canceled the whole tour, and, but she still wants Vegas to give her a million a show? MGM's 5,200-seat Park Theater. I've seen her in Vegas. I went about five or six years ago. I mean, she puts on. She's such a great entertainer. She puts on a great show. But that, that begs the question, is she that big of a star? Is she that big of a star? Nobody's paying to go see her. Something has happened over the last few years, and I don't know. You keep I, seeing the stuff with, now they're they're putting the photos out there of she and Ben Affleck laughing and giggling and blowing air kisses. All of a sudden, that's out there. But then the next story, you see Affleck, just with that look, that long look on his face, walking with Jennifer Garner and their son coming from a basketball game. His life is just torture. Yeah, and they're still living separately. <laughs> Wow, that's a PR spin. They're trying to save this Vegas thing, I bet. She's like, dude, just work with me. First Lenny Kravitz, now Marlon Wayans, says he's enjoying a simplified sex life these days, preferring good old-fashioned missionary to more (laughs) acrobatic lovemaking. Yeah, he actually talked about this. Uh, He's getting real, Barnes. He talked to People Magazine, admitting, you know, he's less inclined to go for circus-like sex as he's gotten much older. Good to know. Now, does that mean that before he was having circus-like sex? Like, I mean... Seriously, what does that mean? He's got the physique. <laughs> Maybe like, he's trapezing. Who knows? Mm, People, s- they get those things installed in their bedroom, you know, like trapeze little p- poles and swings. And, so you think Marlon had one of those? I mean, remember the girl from The Bachelor who we had on our show, Amanda from The First Bachelor, yeah, told she us did. she she had like a swing <laughs> above the... I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> On the uh, Sunday sit-down with Willie Geist, Emily Blunt shared how happy she is that her daughter, her daughter is finally impressed by her work now that she's worked with mm -hmm, Ryan Gosling. They're so happy. They have never had any interest in anyone I've worked with ever. They know a lot of people I've worked with, but Ryan is, Ryan's it. For them. I finally did it, Mom. They love Ken. Yeah, they were like, what does he look like when he has normal hair? It's funny what will get their attention because that's the same thing. Like, my daughters could care less about 
what I do for a living. But the minute she knows that you know Taylor Swift, Isn't all of a funny? sudden they're interested. That'd be a good topic one day to you know say. What are your kids finally impressed by? Right, what, well, look at Ed you know, Roland, who said it took him yes. being in the car with his son, hearing his song on 99X, Mother's Love. And he was like, oh, crap, he put it together. Oh, that's my dad? What will it take? Terry Irwin isn't looking for love following the death of her husband. Of course, Steve Irwin, back in 2006. She talked to Us Weekly ahead of the Steve Irwin Gala earlier this month. You know what she said? I totally got my happily ever after. She's 59 now. And while there are a lot of wonderful men in the world, can you see another Steve Irwin? I just can't. I'd be like, I love you if you're a librarian and the Dewey Decimal System is cool. But I got to jump a crocodile and do that. Uh, Forget that. But the odds of her finding that again, I mean, are you just going to choose to be That's what she's saying. I choose to be happily ever after single. Wow. She met her true love. That is your Celebrity Sleaze.